there are several different kinds of signaling in North American railroading, but the two most common are CTC, which stands for Centralized Traffic Control and is most common to the CSX here in the East. The other is ABS, which is Automatic Block Signaling and is most common to NS. Although they have their differences, the one thing that both systems have in common is a high green. That spells clear in any territory and in railroading vernacular, that means good news for the rail fan. So how does that saying go? A picture is worth 1,000 words. Here I give you a picture that really talks. We're at the south end of Taylor Yard on a sleepy Sunday, March 15 afternoon, and the first thing that you probably noticed is those Canadian Pacific GEs smack dab in the middle of the frame. Canadian Pacific Power has been showing up a lot in the area the past couple of weeks, both in local service, such as what you see here, and in mainline service on trains like the Enola Bound 11Z, which went south through town just a few days ago. In episode one of How Railroads Work, we took an in-depth look at the day-to-day -day operations of Taylor. And comment after comment, all I kept hearing is how bad the yard tracks look. Much of the video was shot in telephoto, which always compresses the elements of a scene, making bends and tangents seem more extreme than they actually are. And to be fair to NS, for what the yard is or isn't in the eyes of the beholder, it was inherited from the Canadian Pacific in September of 2015 in as is condition. Naturally, there's a link to that video in the description box as well as the pinned comment just in case you missed it. So why are we here? To prove that EMD locomotive power is still a force to be reckoned with. Approaching that clear signal is the Binghamton bound train 14R with two Super 70s in charge of a whopping 124 cars with no DPU or helper. You heard right. From Buttonwood at milepost 692, northbound trains have a steady and continuous 30 mile uphill battle including the Yatesville Hill all the way to the Clark Summit at around milepost 662. This monster northbound made today's assault totally unassisted and with just two engines. Excuse me, I meant two EMD locomotives.
134 to CNE AMCK 112, 112 South, SOUTH at Taylor. Check box 2, proceed from CP 699, 699 to CP 714, 714 on main MAIN track. 3934, 3934, one box, box 2, copied by Carling, over. Yes, you heard right. AMTK. Those are the reporting marks for Amtrak engine number 112 and it's leading a special train, 099, down the NS line to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The Acela Express is Amtrak's flagship service along the Northeast Corridor in the Northeastern United States between Washington, D.C. and Boston via 14 intermediate stops including Providence, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. The route contains segments of high-speed rail, and the Sela Express trains are the fastest train sets in America and can maintain 150 miles per hour on almost 30 miles of the route. This is my first time ever seeing Amtrak on the high iron of the Sunbury Line. 